Good afternoon. It's Friday, March 31st. This is my I think, fourth drive now with FSD Beta 11.3.4. Uh, the last drive was mostly city, did a little bit of highway. This will be a majority highway. Um, so far, this has been, my experience with 1134 have been pretty positive. Um, continue to see behavior that indicates it's very, it's more similar to 1131 than it was 1133, which was my least favorite so far of any of the version 11 builds. We're going to go towards St. Paul, and I'm going to test a problematic intersection where the car would previously not bother to change lanes to follow the route, which is really weird. Haven't seen it anywhere else, um, but saw that frequently with 11.3.3. So we're going to hopefully see that issue fixed here in 11.3.4. Good job going. We should be able to go right now. We're clear and we are going. Awesome. And again, I'm adjusting the speed. I adjusted it right when I engaged and right after now um, because the speed limits continue to be wrong. and in uh, all residential roads in the Twin Cities, so. So we are slowing here. I'm not sure why the, tra the train signals are not actually going. So that's interesting. So I just pressed the throttle there to kind of get around that, but that's a definitely an issue there. I'm gonna report. I'm just going to give this guy a little bit more space here if he's trying to turn left. So I'm just pressing the throttle again a little bit here. Because of the potholes coming up here, I'm going to actually exit, move over to the left lane here. So let's see if the car gets over. Should, should obey here and do its thing. There we go. Looks like we're staying in our lane because somebody kind of snuck up there on us. Good job there of the car reacting to that car behind us and getting over when it was safe to do so. Big lightning strike there. I don't know if you saw that to my left there. That was really close. Hopefully that showed up on the GoPro. <laughs> Good job seeing a gap there and getting over now versus waiting a little bit longer. That was a problem with V11.3.3 where it would basically just wait to the last minute to get over and then a lot of times it put us in positions where we'd miss our turns to follow the route. So we, we could have made that lane change up ahead but it would have been very tight because there's just the more cars like this there are the harder it is. There's not a lot of room between here and the freeway so. And while we're here, I'm going to actually switch the navigation here. I'm going to try to get it to use my uh, correct entrance ramp here onto 280. There we go. So this routing issue that I'm kind of working around, for whatever reason, FSD tries to route us, to keep us on I-35, and the problem with doing that is that we then have to make two sudden lane changes at under a quarter mile. It's like probably less than that, it's probably more of an eighth of a mile. Um, and then, of course, we, a lot of times we'll miss our exits. because it's just, it's even, if you're, even when you're driving aggressively, it's, it's very hard to get over in that short of space to make that exit for MN-280 uh, South, so. But yeah, it's, it's a known routing issue. I've reported Tesla a few times. And unfortunately the map data hasn't been updated yet, so. A little bit of speed coming into that corner there. Um, again, that's similar to what I saw with 11.3.1. Based on my driving style, I'm fine with it. But again, this is assertive, so I would assume it would have slowed a little more if it was an average or a chill. You can see we're kind of going a little slow here and now it's finally updating the speed here, but we're almost all the way down the on-ramp at this stage, leaving us little room to accelerate now. 
being that we're in a Tesla, obviously we can accelerate quite quickly, but it's not the smoothest behavior and it's not definitely the most human-like. Um, so I've noticed that in a few different on-ramps, that, that one in particular especially, um, the car will just, yeah, this, it, it maintains a 30 mile per hour speed limit basically down the entire on-ramp until the very end. So not sure how they fix that, I'm guessing it might be map related, but. Awesome, it looks like it's gonna actually follow my, my pin I dropped there, so that was great. And I'm gonna kill the nav now. So we'll just drive straight on this for a little bit here. And now I'm gonna switch it to the actual end destination, which is my gym in St. Paul, Minnesota. I want to call out because of the rain you'll notice there's a message on the bottom that says full self-driving may be degraded for weather detected um, when this happens one thing I've noticed and it's night and day difference even when you're on the assertive profile a lot of the speed based lane changes go away um, and, and rightfully so so uh, that's something that I've noticed you know more and more with version 11 that's definitely more pronounced than it's ever been before which you know I think is a good safety change there so I left the turn signal on here for whatever reason, so I'm just canceling that. Didn't say it was making a lane change, so I think because of the uh, the water on the road, it didn't see that it completed a lane change, so I left it on. But did a good job staying put in the center of the lane the entire time, even when it really couldn't see the outside of the lines. early turn signal there. Not sure what that was for, but I did take it off. Alright, so we've just exited I-94 East, and now we're headed towards downtown St. Paul. And we'll be at our destination here in about five minutes. So the car might try to put us in the wrong lane up here. Let's see what it does. So we're in the wrong lane right now and the car is aborting out of it. That's awesome. It looks like we're gonna go around this person and then maybe swing back over. Let's see what it does. That was actually pretty cool. So it did the right thing and you can see on the, the occupancy network did find the, the uh, obstructions there. So we're gonna navigate around this cone or whatever, this barrel if you will. 
So I'm going to nudge it forward here to see if we can kind of get around this. There's plenty of room to fit us between here and this bus, but it doesn't seem to want to make this turn. So I'm just going to let it sit for now and see what it does. And the nav still shows us that we're going to make this turn, so hopefully it understands that we can still make this. So this is a kind of a good example. There's maybe a vehicle length in between us and the bus, and the car is still very cautious on getting any closer than this. Um, I feel like this is something that is definitely very, you know, conservative right now. Let's see if it's going to make this turn. All right, so there it goes. So maybe if I would have nudged it a little more, it would have went, but I just didn't feel comfortable getting it any closer than that, just to kind of prove a point. But we are clear on our left here. Got to navigate some pretty nasty sections of road here, so I'm perfectly fine with it going slow. And eventually we get over to the right lane there. So tough section there. Um, I'm glad the car did recognize further than I expected it to, to get over to the left. Um, that, that lane on the right has been closed for, I think, most of the winter now, since at least probably November, and has caused some problems in previous builds. The car didn't plan ahead for, further enough, and it would basically get to that spot and then just sit there and then kind of beach, beach itself, which was always a problem. So much better behavior now in version 11, especially 11.3.4. Good behavior slowing for that car there. Um, wasn't too abrupt. Um, again, brake inputs, throttle inputs continue to be an improvement so far from what I can tell over 11.33. I'm guessing it was navigating from the around to the right there for that pot um, for the oncoming traffic, but there was a pothole right in that spot that I did avoid in the process. Would totally love to believe that it was doing that for the pothole there so you can see there we just missed that light i think we were already out in the intersection when it turned before it turned red um but it was really close so i'm going to report that one there in theory we should have probably just came to a complete stop on that one but um or accelerated one of the two but we did slow as soon as it turned yellow and that kind of put us in a more questionable position as it versus if we would just continued on and not changed our speed so have to go back and watch the footage there to see how that actually sh you know shook out there but a little too far to the right we did correct though so this, this section of the road is pretty poorly marked so um but yeah we've reached our destination now um zero disengagements honestly considering the conditions and the rain and everything else pretty darn good drive so um, again I'm pretty happy so far with what I can see from 11.34 I really do think this so far based on what I've seen and hopefully it's the same for people in other markets but this build looks to be ready for wide release here hopefully to everybody else that uh, is waiting on the 10.69.25 build so anyways thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one